Hi everybody, great that you're watching again to this session where we're gonna play with swing timing. My name is Katrien van Opstal, I'm a jazz singer and researcher at Royal Conservatoire of Antwerp in Belgium and accompanist today is Hendrik Braakman. Still worst leading guitar player in jazz and also a teacher at Royal Conservatoire of Antwerp. So if you didn't see the first session where I'm explaining uh, the mixing table model and all the different kind of sounds, please watch that first, otherwise it will be difficult to follow. And if you did, then welcome and enjoy this session on swing timing. Yay! So in uh, swing, Hendrik, as we discussed, and uh, I got some great ideas from him, in swing there's never, or there's Almost never, I have to say almost never, right? Um, there's never a straight tone. Every tone is alive. And also if you are in a phrase or in a sentence, you have notes that are bigger. You have notes that are kept smaller. You have a lot of dynamics in a sentence, in the, uh, especially in your eight notes. So we're going to work on that. How can we connect that to the anatomy of our voice? Well... First, let's look at quarter notes. A lot of times you will have a decay kind of sound like this. I, I didn't know what time it was, then I met you. So what is really happening there? It starts with ah, uh, which to me is speech. Speech with a little AES maybe. I, uh, it's not ah, uh, but Actually, that, that is my way of singing, is speech with an A, S. Uh, and then it quickly moves to cry. I, I didn't know what time it was. And that really makes the swing going. Especially if you have a lot of quarter notes like in There Will Never Be Another You or Bye Bye Blackbirds. You don't want the sound to be... Pack up all my care and woe, but you need to pack up all my care and woe. Here I go, singing low. So you need to alternate between speech with a little AS if you want to and cry. Um, and that will, that will just make it swing. Dynamics is the key to a good swing. You can also listen to like trumpet players. Um, they will also really, they're really clear in this. Bye. So you can get some inspiration there too. Let's practice. Um, let's practice some quarter notes. Hendrik, would you play me a blues maybe in E? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna alternate speech, little AS to cry. First separate, then a little bit faster, and then really fast. Sounds simple, but actually it's a lot of multitasking for your voice. Because do you remember how different the setup of speech is from cry? So we, singers have to multitask a lot. So it's nice to practice them really separately. So they get part of your vocabulary. Let's take a look at eight notes now. Um, you probably heard about the backbeats. Um, they get a little accent, so... The accent is not the hardest part to do. The hardest part is to make the other notes small. So let's try to do an eighth note and do the first eighth note in cry. Do, and the 
second eight notes in speech with a little as. Duba, 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 duba. And I think the hardest part is to come back to the cry. Normally, the syllables will help you because do, do, and ba. Do is the syllable that loves cry, and ba is the syllable that loves speech and as. So, can we do another round uh, of the same blues? It was lovely. Did you write that? <laughs> have a, a song with a lot of eight notes you might want to practice it like this so you come back to the to the cry a lot to, to make it small and you will immediately ameliorate uh, enhance your swing uh, groove I had a lot of students who came to me from and say ah my teacher says that I don't I don't swing I don't know how to groove and they work on timing which is also good and they work on all different things but it's still they don't get there But most of the times it was because they didn't have dynamics in their voice. So they, they, the dynamics were not big enough a lot of times. They, they do the louder thing, but they forget to go really, really small. So um, if you have that problem, now you know how to practice, right? <laughs> okay, let's do one more. And this is an exercise on groove. Um, let's say... Oh, good rule and good common rule in um, phrasing is that if you take a step higher that your sound gets a bit bigger if you take a step lower your voice your sound gets a bit smaller translated in the mixing table model we have if you take a step up go from cry to more speech If you take a step down, go from speech to more cry. Okay, if I would sing it like this, it wouldn't swing. Now, how can I enhance the swing? Because I'm doing it all in speech and it's like, it's not really swinging. So if I apply this rule I said, I'm going to start from cry. And when I'm on the top notes, I will be in speech. So, da, 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 da. and then, then it's a step lower. So I go a bit softer again, a bit smaller. Da, da. And then even more smaller. Da, da. A bit more again. Da, da. Smaller again. Da, da. Wow. Let's try it again, really, really, really uh, slow. Uh, can you do it slower? I, I want to do it without uh, tempo. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> try it with me. <laughs> It's a, a brain uh, thing. Maybe now in tempo. One, two, and. Oh 
Yeah, yeah, you can go. You can keep going. <laughs> Now let's compare it to uh, the first, my first example. I'll do that again, where I was just in, in the same sound all time. Da 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 So also a great exercise to really practice your tunes like this, especially if you have bebop tunes. And um, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Please check out our other different videos too. We're going to make another one about Bossa Nova songs. So stay tuned. Thank you, Hendrik Braakman. Olivier van Betsbrugge on the sound engineer. And thank you for watching. Bye.